Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me again Chelsea and today I'm going to give you a rundown of the books that I have left to finish on my currently reading list. I know, it's kind of bad. My whole top shelf of my TBR cart is next to me. I will tell you at the end how many books there are. I'm just going to go through them. I won't give like a full rundown of every book. I may give you my reasons as to why they're on this list, as to why I haven't finished them. This does not include any books that I'm currently reading for this month, so that's technically a few more than this. This also doesn't include um, any of the books on my Kindle. If you want to know what books I've got currently reading on there, my unread Kindle books, let me know down below. We can go through that too. I seem to read and not finish anything. So let's get into it. So the books on here are varied, gotta be said. Most of them are from like uh, readathon, most of them are from readathons I just haven't finished. So we're gonna start on this side. So the first book that I'm yet to finish is Wool by Hugh Howie. And to be fair, I think this is the third time I've tried to read this. Not tried, it's not a bad book, it's a really really good book, but it's very, I don't know if you can see that, I don't know if you think that's small, but that is small text to me, and it's the adult, like on the cover it says the next Hunger Games, it is the adult version, it's got to be said, I think it is really well written. The premise of this is that the world is dead, it's toxic outside and everyone resides in this one silo and every level is like a different job so like the mechanics live like right down at the bottom and there's like a hun good hundred floors I think, can't remember. Um, and the at the very start of the book the original sheriff of the silo demands to go outside because he's convinced that it's all a conspiracy and that the outside isn't bad for you. And then, unfortunately, he dies. So the next, de the next sheriff even comes in, and her name is Jules. And we follow her as she kind of delves into the silo drama, the secrets to see what is happening. And I'm at a really, really good point of this book. I'm on chapter 37, so I'm over 250 pages in. I just haven't finished it, and I just need to. And I, just to say, I want to try and finish all these books by the end of the year. Is that possible? I don't know. We'll find out. The next one on this list is Inkheart. So I started reading this for a read for Becca's book Oblithon, I think in September, maybe, or the month before. Um, and I just put it down and I didn't read it again. You don't know what Inkheart is about. It is basically following a young, a young girl, Meggie, and her dad. Her dad is a book doctor, essentially. He fixes them, puts them, like, recovers them, re sews them together and then a stranger knocks at the door one night and demands that Mo comes with him basically and then Mo's extraordinary secret is revealed of which he can read characters out of books so Maggie finds out that he can read characters out of books and then they go on this um and then she's convinced that she can find where her mother has disappeared to really good book I am liking it it is a middle grade I'm not even 200 pages in I think it's because I've seen the movie many many times and the movie is amazing i love it and i'm not saying that the book is not as good it it is it's amazing it's just that i know what's coming so it's not a surprise and i'm like oh, i just need to get through this book to get to the next two which i have on my shelf ready to go and read and find out what the rest of the story is because i've always been curious the next book that i'm going to talk about is the book of life by deborah harkness so this is the third and final book in a discovery of witches trilogy um i am ugh, i keep saying this i'm loving it about everything but obviously i'm not loving it so much because i haven't finished any of these books that is not necessarily the case it is more the case if i don't if it's the last book in a series, a lot of the time is that I don't want it to finish, that's why I stop or I get distracted. I've been very distracted by a lot of good releases and I've been trying to get through them as well as everything else and it just hasn't worked, obviously. <laughs> um, so yes, this is the third and final book in the Discovery of Witches trilogy. I started this because I was doing a buddy read with a group of people reading through them all but that seems to have petered out a little bit. Um, 
not too sure why quite sad was really enjoying it life got in the way everyone has slowly been going back to work so they've had less time which i completely understand but i really want to finish this by the end of the year because i think i included this in my five book series that i want to finish in 2020 and i'll link that above for you if you haven't checked it out shameless self promo go watch my videos <laughs> um but yeah i really enjoyed this this is the final installment of, i keep saying that you know it's the final book do you, have I said that enough? It's the final, final, final book. So we're following Diana and Matthew in their conclusion. And I don't know if I'm ready for it, if I'm completely honest. I, I'm not that far in, I don't think. I'm like, not even 200 pages in. But I just don't want it to end. One of them. But I will get this finished this year. I am determined. De determined. And I will use this video to hold me accountable of all these books that i need to finish by the end of the year because my goodness there's a lot and there's so many other books that i still want to read this year so that's great the next book that i need to finish i've been reading for many many a month and that is game of thrones by george rr R. martin mm-hmm mm-hmm uh-huh i'm about 40 i'm almost 50 percent of the way through this i think and it's just one of them where I actually was surprised at how much I was enjoying this, to be completely honest. So it's a very chunky book and a very serious book. And recently I have not wanted to read books this serious just because of everything that's going on, being off work. I mean, it's the perfect time to read them because I have so much time. Well, I did, I'm now back to work. But I had so much time and I could have read these, but they were just a little bit serious for for me but I, I i'm determined to finish at least one of these this year to be fair we're only going to set myself one this year because i think with all of these and then all the books that i want to read over the next two months still even then i might struggle with my completing my tbr cart challenge thing that i'm setting myself today so yeah we'll just set one of these that would be good my other half and his family have like watched all of the watched the whole series of this i'm not really sure i want to watch it i would much prefer to read it that's how i kind of keep information in my head is if i read it and then see it that's i don't know if that makes sense but that's how my brain works and i want to know what they see in this series because i've never really watched it and the bits i have watched i've kind of gone what so yeah that's on there too up next we have crown of midnight by sarah j mass uh again started this with a buddy read of a group of people on instagram and i suck um i am on this one i am on chapter seven barely into it and i'm i'm so behind they're um i don't even know what book they're on now i think they might be on queen of Sh oh, no yeah queen of shadows because red throne of glass first then we were meant to read this, then we were meant to read Air of Fire, then Assassin's Blade, then Queen of Shadows, and I'm so far behind. And I don't even think I have, no, I don't even have the next book in the series yet ready to read, so I just kind of want to finish this one this year, and then we will carry on. My bigger goal for Sarah J Mass books this year is that I will read both A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings and Ruin by the end of the year. That's the plan, because I'm doing a readathon for that, and that's Akatar along. And they've just read the first book, but I've already read that this year. So I'm going to carry on, meet, I don't know, join November. And then hopefully read those two, finish technically the trilogy, then read the novella in January. And then I'll be ready for the new book. So I just want to read this. And then I will carry on with this series next year. Just need to put this one to bed. But wouldn't that be great anyways? Uh, the next one is Shades Children by Garth Nix. <sighs> mm. I don't know what to really say about this. The, the premise is that children are put into, like, kind of, like, work camps. And some of them have abilities. So, like, one of the kids that are following this can see the almost now, which is like five seconds into the future basically that's his premise um but he has managed to escape this work camp and he's fleeing for his life and then gets found by three other children and gets taken to a gentleman called shade 
and it's just strange really what we said um they're, they're just trying to start a resistance against the overlords and the the beings that are looking after looking after the beings that are like exploiting them and that sort of thing and it's meant to be a, a kid's book and it's post-apocalyptic and my gosh it is post-apocalyptic but it's just i'm i think it's just the way it's written like i don't think it's written badly and i'm only on chapter seven so i've got a heck of a long way to go um i do think i will enjoy it in the end it's just getting used to the way that like the chapters are told from different perspectives and golden eye who is the young lad that escaped doesn't talk so well because they're not really they're not really trained in these like work camp kind of things so it's a bit hard to listen to him or read him because it it's not fluent in my opinion but that could all change like as i get further in but it is like mixed not necessarily completely mixed media but it has got like um video archive sections they all do training with shade and it's recorded that's kind of to give you an insight of what they've gone through again something i really want to finish i started that for a, a readathon and never finished it i think it's the thing with a lot of these books is that i really enjoy them so far but they haven't completely gripped me yet i mean a lot of them i haven't got past like 100 pages or like no i haven't got past like 200 pages so it makes sense it's a lot of groundwork <sighs> but i really need to stop doing this really uh we have stardust next by neil gaiman i love this film it's my favorite film and i think that's why i put down the book i'm on chapter five there's like 10 chapters in an epilogue i really 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 want to finish this um but because it's so different from the book it just I had to step away from it for a minute and then I didn't pick it back up which is understandable it's still amazing but it's one of them where I'm like in the film we, we're a lot further along by now <laughs> and the book isn't so uh next up is again another one that I started f I'm pretty sure book couple on and that is Summoner the Outcast by Ta Taran Matharu this is the prequel to the whole Summoner series I like the premise of this book it just hasn't completely gripped me yet because i'm not massive i don't think i'm massively the way through no i'm 75 pages in and it kind of got left behind in the read along readathon sorry it got towards the end of the readathon i knew i couldn't finish this one i put it down i started the next readathon and i just haven't picked it back up again something that happens with a lot of these books is that they are part of a readathon i know i can't finish them by that time and they get put down but this book i quite like i like the way the magic works in this book so it's more of the fact that you have to have magic kind of in your blood and then you can summon demons but the gist of it is that only nobles can can do this and we follow our i can't say his name Ar arcturus must be that arcturus after he's kind of stolen a demon off a noble he finds a scroll in a saddlebag, reads from it, and then this demon appears, and he gets taken to this academy to kind of learn how to control himself and how to use these demons, but no one obviously wants to give him the time of day because he is a commoner and not a noble. Confusing, right? <laughs> but the, the premise is really, really good. The whole, the whole idea of it is great. I just need to sit down and read it again I'm, i think this is classed as like a middle grade book but I, ne I need to finish it i have two and three on my shelves i need to buy the first book but yeah we'll see maybe i shouldn't have started with the prequel maybe i should have started with the first book in the series and then gone on to read the prequel afterwards which is what happens with a lot of books because that's how they come out they bring out the first however many if it's a trilogy obviously the, the, they bring out the trilogy then they bring out the prequel to kind of give you a more in-depth view into a character but we'll see up next we have a darker shade of magic and don't mind the fact that my tassel is that way this is my upside down copy so we are i don't even know i am 75 pages through and you know what i think i've met most of the characters in this book and i'm i am really loving it i am enjoying it i'm really liking it 
again it's just something that i i took it on holiday when we went away for my birthday and i just haven't picked it back up i've just been concentrating on other books and i really want to finish this because now i have two copies of this exact book this exact print because this one is upside down so a lumicrate gave me a right way up one but i now have this on my shelf i have the invisible life of Addie larue on my shelf and i have the near witch which obviously isn't her whole collection but i would love to get through them i will also be buying the next the next two the other two books in the trilogy in this kind of thing um when a loom crate do ori originally do bring them out next year so i will have actually read the whole series and i really do like this i know people give it some i have seen people give it shtick um but so far so good i just need to actually get around to finishing it i'm loving kel i think he's amazing i think what he's doing um because he like transports trinkets between london's is a little bit you know dodgy but you do what you gotta do i guess to keep life interesting maybe and i don't really know i am interested to see where this goes i really want to love it because it's pretty anyways I feel like this is just me telling you why I suck at carrying on reading. And if it is, I'm sorry, but it's true. I'm just, I have the attention, the attention span of a gnat is what I say. Because I just, or a magpie, it's kind of like new books, ooh shiny. It doesn't even have to be new releases, it could just be new books that I found at the charity shop. So, there's that. Um, the next book I have taken the dust jacket off, but it is The Never Tilting World by... Re I think it's Rin Kopeko. Chopeko. This book is actually really interesting. I'm over 100 pages. It's told by multiple people. And I actually quite like that. Some books, I don't like how many people are telling the story. But I think it's like four. Or f I think it's four people that are telling this story. It's the two goddesses on either side of the world. And then a guard from one world and... I think he's from a tribe like a tribesman but it is really good again it's one i took two or three books on holiday with me and didn't finish any of them but i'm pretty sure i started all of them so this is is based the, the basic premise of they have to try and save the world because it's dying because half of it is constantly in ice half of it is constantly in the sun one is of the sun one is obviously struggling for water the ice one is struggling to make sure that they don't drown i do think i will enjoy this the more i get into it i am enjoying it how far i am into it i just need to just stop getting distracted i'm gonna say that a lot more and i still have like six more books so that's fun. My final middle grade in this collection of books I cannot seem to finish is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, the first book by Rick Riordan in that series. And again, it was a readathon and I had to read a middle grade and I picked this one up. I got to 93 pages and I've stopped because the readathon stopped. But I do really like this. I think it's really good. I can actually see where the hype is. I have seen the movies. People don't seem to rate them i'm indifferent really i can't re i've watched them but it's not something that i could tell you about because i can't remember if i'm completely honest which probably tells you how impactful they are um but yeah i need to finish this i think i'm at the point where he finds out he's demi i think he's just got camp half blood i really enjoy it i love watching movies of books sometimes and kind of getting sucked into like that kind of thing but then there's the book version where you actually can kind of get inside the character's head as to why they're doing what they're doing or what they're thinking during that certain scene and it's just a lot more immersive next up we have Nord's biography the only one that i haven't finished because it's the only one that i've started this year and that is becoming michelle obama's autobiography and you know what this is actually really inspiring again it's just i started it earlier this year with a buddy read with my friend meg and i'm sorry meg i still haven't finished it i know she has because she is amazing and i suck but yeah this is really inspiring but again it was because it's non-fiction and i was like i just right now i just want to be whisked away to somewhere with dragons or something like that and that that's all i want to read so i will finish this this year this is going to be the one autobiography that i finished this year and i'm making that promise now even if i don't finish all of these books i will finish okay i'm gonna say this now 
if I don't finish these books, my plan is I will finish one middle grade out of the ones I've got here, my non-fiction, and then a few others. But I definitely want to finish at least one middle grade and my non-fiction book. Wouldn't that be great? Okay, next up, this book looks a little bit... Next up, again, I don't have the cover on it, but it's The Kingdom of Souls by Rena Baron. I started this book and then got to chapter four and kind of just put it down. It was one of those books where I was like, yeah, I just want to read it. I think it will be amazing. And it is really good. I just haven't finished it. So I should really put the dust jacket back on it so it stops getting dusty because it's been on my shelf and it's kind of marked. But it is the Illuminate edition and it is signed and it is gorgeous and... I just want to read it. I want to understand the magic system. I think I, mm, I'm not sure if it's one of those books that I'm going to end up taking off my TBR and then putting it back on maybe next year because I haven't actually got that far into it, but we shall see. I would like to read more of it. I would like to understand the actual magic system. It seems like a really good premise, but I haven't actually heard that many great things. Final three, guys. Final three. Okay, so... Next up is Legendary and uh, mm, mm. right, I'm going to hold up this book because I'm going to say something that could be classed as a spoiler. If you don't want to hear that, skip until I put this book down. But yeah, uh, mm, I didn't like Donatella in the last book. We didn't see a lot of her, obviously, but now we follow her and she grinds my gears a little bit. I'm hoping that the more I get into this book, the more I will actually like her. I'm hoping that happens. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, I I need to get into this. I'm on chapter 12. They're in Caraval. They're doing their thing. Hopefully she starts irritating me less. Second to last, we have Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Um, did I start this for a readathon? Probably. Um, and just haven't finished it. I have got to chapter 9 which is 100 pages in. I am really enjoying it. It's just, again, one of those books that I just kind of put down. I went through a phase, I go through a phase a lot, of leaving books around the house so that I kind of sit down and pick them up. And then a lot of them currently, because I spend a lot of my time in our front room, end up in the front room and there's piles and piles of books and then they get moved back in here into the spare room and then I just don't really come in here and pick them back up again. Story of my life, just how it is. But yeah, this is what happened to this. It's not that I'm not enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. It's just one of them that I'm like, I need to put you down and pick up something else. I am enjoying the way this book is written. I like the the fact that it is not YA. Yeah, it is very gory and gruesome and I'm enjoying it. The final book in this mess is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This is the second time I've tried to read this book and I am not very far in this time, 40 pages in, um, and I've just put it down. I was taking it around with me, I accidentally dropped it off of a couch and that hurt my soul because I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit dented now which makes me sad because I actually do really like the idea of this book. Again, I haven't finished it. That is the plan. Um, and it's a beautiful edition and I just if it, I wasn't even near it, it's like a ghost kicked it off. But the plan is to finish this one as well. I just can't believe I let myself get to this stage of having this many books. So I have 16 physical books and I know my currently reading is over 20. So that is just the 16 physical books I'm currently reading that don't include any books that I've started in October. And that is a little bit crazy. Yes, so I have a problem. <laughs> I need to just sit down and read these books. Do any of you struggle with this? I don't know. I also don't seem to have the problem where I will forget a story. Uh, if I'm midway through it, if I pick it up, I pretty much remember where I am, what has happened, that kind of thing. The way our brains work is amazing. But yeah, that is all for me today. I have thoroughly shown you my reading problem today uh if you did like this video please give it a like it really supports me and my channel if you suffer from starting books and never finishing them let me know down below or give me advice give me motivation tell me that i can finish these books by the end of the year including the rest of my tbr that i have because you know we all need to hear that and if you want to see more of me and see if i succeed in finishing these books in my wrap up towards the end of the year maybe next month maybe december um give me a subscribe 
come see how chaotic my life is because apparently it's quite chaotic uh but yeah that's all from me i hope you're having uh, an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.